In today's video, we are heading to the British Library which is located in St. Pancras, London. The British Library is the National Library of the United Kingdom and is one of the largest libraries in the world containing over 170 million items, a living collection that gets bigger every day. Although their roots extend back centuries, they collect everything published today, tomorrow and decades into the future. They have millions of books, newspapers, maps, sound recordings, patents and stamps as well. Their spaces are open for study, a place to meet friends, to start up a new business or to get inspired by visiting their galleries and events. There is a special notification nowadays that the library is continuing to experience a major technology outage as a result of a cyber attack. Their buildings are open as usual, however the outage is still affecting their website, online systems and services as well as some on-site services. So nowadays they have a temporary website with limited content outlining the services that are currently available at the library. If you talk about the history, the British Library was part of the British Museum and was opened in 1753. However, the library separated from the British Museum and became its own entity in 1973. The site at St Pancras was the largest UK public building project of the 20th century. Its design and construction took 37 years and it was the pinnacle of architects Sir Colin St. John Wilson's distinguished career and Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II opened this building in June 1998. Here are the statues of Sir Robert Cotton, Sir Joseph Banks, the Right Honourable Thomas Granville and Sir Hans Lorne. They are the four individuals whose collections were acquired by the British Museum in the century following its foundation and which transferred to the British Library in 1973. The four basements in which much of the collection is stored are the deepest in the UK, reaching 24 meters underground. Books are delivered to the reading rooms by way of a conveyor system that passes through several floors and which at items of peak demand delivers up to 3000 items a day for registered readers to consult. The British Library has a legal duty to collect and preserve a copy of every book, newspaper, magazine and map published in the UK as well as printed music, electronic and digital publications including the UK web archive. These collections grow by approximately 8 kilometers and 
500 terabytes each year, nearly the size of YouTube's entire database of videos. At the heart of the building is a four-story glass tower containing the King's Library with 65,000 printed volumes along with other pamphlets, manuscripts and maps collected by the King George III between 1763 and 1820. The British Library's philatelic collections are the national philatelic collections of the United Kingdom. The collections were established in 1891 with the donation of the Taplin Collection. The Taplin Collection was formed by Thomas K. Taplin, who was a very successful businessman, a politician and a cricket player, as well as a really passionate stamp collector. The philatelic collection of the library include postage and revenue stamps, postal, stationery, essays, proofs, covers and entries, specimen issues, airmails, some postal history materials, official and private posts for almost all countries and periods. Here you can find the Perkins D cylinder printing press used to print the penny black. It was the first postage stamps of Great Britain and Ireland and the stamp depicts Queen Victoria. This machine was patented in 1819. This is the section called Treasures of the British Library, also known as Sir John Driblet Gallery, which contains the collection of iconic works of Magna Carta, the Diamond Sutra, Jane Austen's manuscripts, the Beatles lyrics, and many more in this gallery. They are drawn from a collection of over 170 million items from around the world and organized by themes including literature, scientific and historic documents, art of the book, maps and sacred texts.
let's talk about the using of the British Library now. This library is a bit different to our local libraries because we cannot take books out. But we can use their reading rooms for personal study and access to their collection. All you need is a reader pass. Anyone who is over 18 years of age can get a free reader pass. You will just need to bring some identification to read a registration on the upper ground floor. It gives free access to their reading rooms and collection. Their reading rooms are located on 1st, 2nd and 3rd floors. If you talk about access to the library's collection, you can search their online catalog to find the majority of books and special collections such as printed books, journals, maps, rare books, newspapers and freely available online content. Before you visit, you can use this online catalog to search for the items you require to check whether those are available or not. Their cloak rooms and lockers are located on the lower ground floor and free to use but bring a one pound coin as you need to use it to activate the lock. If you need refreshments, there are cafes and restaurants inside and outside the building as well. With reference to the other facilities at the British Library, they have 5-star exhibitions, events, courses, family activities, free galleries and tours that you can attend. You can explore their free workshops and activities for schools available on-site and online as well. Especially their centres across the UK offer expert advice for all stages of the business journey, start up to protect or to grow your business. You can find beautiful books, fantastic fairy tales, classic crime stories, maps and more in their shop. You can visit this in the London entrance hall or can refer to the online shop to order items.
So if you are passing through London or have any interest in books, we highly recommend to visit the British Library. But make sure to refer the website for opening hours that may differ according to their building opening, reading rooms and reader registration opening times. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next adventure.